good day today i'll show you how to design a reinforced concrete slab to bs8110 with the aid of a spreadsheet program known as rcc11 element design a download link to the spreadsheet program is provided in the video's description here is the spreadsheet program the bull colored cells for input of parameters and i select it to the right we can determine we can change the type of span whether it's simply supported or continuous and to the bottom right under the blue colored cells we have the output the effective depth the lever arm Z the area required and provided as well as the flexion check are all contained in the output I will demonstrate the use of the spreadsheet program with an example However, in addition to other parameters required, the design moment needs to be determined. Here is the example. A slab is to be designed to carry a life load of 3.0 kN per meter squared plus 4 finishes and ceiling loads of 1 kN per meter squared. The slab will have an overall thickness of 210 mm and 4,500 millimeters at span the characteristic material strengths are fcu for concrete that is 30 newtons per millimeter squared and fy for steel that is 460 newton per millimeter squared 25 mm is to be allowed for cover to cover reinforcements the first thing we need to do is to calculate the design moment so we are given the overall depth of slab at 210 millimeters so therefore self-width of the slab is 0 0.21 meters times 24 kilonewtons per meter cubic which is equal to 5.04 kilonewtons per meter squared we have converted the 210 millimeters to meters and we know that the unit weight of concrete is 24 kilonewtons per meter cubic so therefore the total dead load is equal to 1 plus 5.04 which gives us 6.04 kilonewton per meter squared that one is the floor the additional dead load of the floor finishes and ceiling loads so and the formula for ultimate slab load is 1.4 gk plus 1.6 QK where GK is dead load and QK is life load so therefore our ultimate load is 1.4 times 6.04 plus 1.6 times 3 which gives us 13.256 kN per meter squared remember the 3 is the life load the 3 here is the life load so we cannot calculate the design moment the formula for calculating design moment of a simply supported span is wl squared over 8 where w is equal to 13.256 kN per meter squared and of course the the span is 4.5 meters so therefore our moment is 13.256 times 4.5 squared divided by 8 which gives us 33.55 kN meter so the parameters we the basic parameters we require to for use in the excel spreadsheet program is as follows we have slab thickness 210 millimeters span 4500 millimeters cover to reinforcement 25 millimeters uh, strength of steel 460 newton per millimeter squared strength of concrete 30 newtons per millimeter squared and we have the moment which we have calculated as 33.55 kilonewton per meter squared so we input these values in the spreadsheet program and we see what we get so we are back at the spreadsheet program and looking at the blue color cells for inputs we could change the name of the type of design we are performing so let's go on and input our parameters we have moment as 33.55 of 
0.55 kN meter we can leave the redistribution factor as 1 the span we have 4500 and the height of or the thickness of the slab is 210 millimeters we can leave the bar size as 12 um, the cover to reinforcement we have 25 we we'll change the strength of concrete to 30 and we leave the strength of steel as 460 and then the factor of safety we leave it as there we must make sure since we are designing a simply supported slab we must make sure that we set the section location here to simply support it now we could see the output we have our D calculated as 179 millimeters and we have the lever arm which is calculated as 170.1 millimeters so we have our AS the area required as 450 millimeters squared per meter we, we, the AS minimum has also been calculated as 273 millimeters squared per meter and the program has provided an area for us that says provide T12 at 250 center to center which corresponds to 452 millimeters squared per meter it has also performed a deflection check and certified OK so you can see that this spreadsheet program is very easy to use and looking further under here you can see that the spreadsheet can also be used for design of beams beam shear and column thank you for watching